Ah, oh, feels good to do modding again. Yeah, maybe for a little while. Hey, what's going on, BZ? What's going on? Um, so I wanted to show you. I actually just got the resolution fix took care of. Um, I do want to show you one thing though. Um, let me let me actually take off my monitor capture because I don't know if this would be like considered. Um, okay, okay, let's see. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so right here where it says crashes at certain resolutions, this fix is actually the client.exe, um, and when you run the client.exe, um, you don't necessarily use this in the GOG version, the client, so they actually give you, in other words, somebody cracked the client.executable and actually allowed that support, but I actually just got it fixed, so um, that's what I'm going to show you. Um, so if you run the client, which I've actually already downloaded that client, so you actually will, I, honestly, I think that the client works with the executable. I really do believe that this works with the executable. I believe it. I really do. I believe they're linked some way or the other, but I'm just now getting this set up. So now I'm going to show you. Um, I do have my DG Voodoo. I have everything almost fixed for you here, so... Um, this is the GOG version, which you can see, GOG Games, Blood to the Chosen. Um, and also, the textures do work as well for the game. Um, and also, I do want to point out before I do a test here for you, is... Um, if, if I, don't, I know you won't give me an, any more time, but if you would like to have some shader implementation, like maybe a little bit of Bloom... Um, a little bit of um, um, some really good shaders for just increasing maybe some quality of the uh, of the world a little bit, kind of give it more of a richness. Um, let me know, and you could you could give me till like Monday or Tuesday, and I should be able to have that in there. If I can, I'll let you know. But I think you want to play this game Friday anyway, so you're being pretty blunt with it. So let's go ahead and jump into here. Now, as you can see, and you remember it. You only said I could run uh, 120 by 720, right? Well, I've got um, my DG Voodoo, and I've got Direct 3D supported here, selected, and I got 1920 by 1080. Now, you said that uh, 1280 was as far as you could get, so I've already done a test on this, so we'll go ahead and run this. Okay, so we're in 1920 by 20. So I'm going to go ahead and load uh, a level here for you. Okay, so so far so good. Okay. All right, so here we are in 1920 by 1080 with my textures. So as you can see, game's really smooth. Game's running 1920 by 1080. So pretty much pretty good to go. Now keep in mind this is a lot of this is all of this is my work. Um, I done I done all the textures today, got them finished. Um, the source code work is done by me, so this is all done by me, except for that client exe to fix the resolution issue. So props to that guy. I'll give the credits to that fix. I'm hoping in the readme that they give me, they'll have like credits to a specific name. I'll go ahead and put that in the credit readme when you download it so you can go check that out as well so that pretty much fix these issues so let's try to bump it up higher see what happens so let, let's actually do a test on 120 by uh, or, uh, 2560 by 1080 let's try to do that we'll see if it will, if it will actually load that way actually wait a minute let me bring this back over here for you okay All right, so we'll try my my highest resolution. We'll see if it works. I ain't tested this shit. Okay, for proof, I'll go into the options. There's 2560 by 1080, as you can see, if you can see that. Let's go ahead and load a level here. My level. All right, let's see. Everything's good. All right, here we are. 
So we're in uh, 2560 by 1080 now. So I've got it fixed. Man, my textures look really nice. Now, um, with, with this DG Voodoo, I've added four 16 times anastrophic filtering, so that does help the world a little bit with my textures. Now, BZ, I didn't want to overdo the textures. I've had a, a, a past in the Doom mods and other mods where I want to just take every last bit of juice out of the textures and make them look too overdone, too sharpened, itchy look, and it just makes it look like shit. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to just barely tweak things. I didn't want to go too far down the mid maps. I wanted things to be balanced and where it looks really good. So let's go ahead and go through some level here for you. Now you remember we are one or we are we are on two five sixty by ten eighty, my friend. And by the way, I want to clarify something first, okay? Um I kinda noticed you were kindly been I don't know, I, I, it may just be me. I, I, I sense this a lot about people that I'm around or that I sense about your comments online. Um, I hope you're not mad at me or anything. Like, I didn't exist. I left the modding scene publicly, but at the same time, I stayed in the modding scene just for you. So if you want any fixes or you want me to do some remasters, I'm there for you. You know, I'm not going to give up on you. I'm pursuing my music as a rapper. I love it. Um, I'm actually really good at it. My family's really happy that I've actually pursued it. And um, I really enjoy it. And I believe it's going to take me somewhere, you know. So I want to make, I want to have a purpose in life, you know. I love modding, great, that's fine and all good. But music, I actually can make a career out of that shit. And I really. I'm so awfully uh, misunderstood. So, lady, be good to me. But anyway, like I said, I want to do something more purposely with my life. But, but either way, um. In the source code, I have tweaked a few things. I want to go ahead and point it out. I tweaked the blood and gore splat, the time, how long that last is. Um, so, let me get this pattern up. See how the blood wants to last a little bit longer on the splurts, and the gore actually lasts a little bit longer as well on the floor. Um, keep in mind, though, that... Um, I'm putting a lot of effort into this, so, you know, the free match is going to be pretty cool. What's wrong, bro? He ain't got no head. Oh, wait, he does have a head. Wait a minute. There we go. He ain't got no body now. Oh, his casket now. Yeah. All right, so, um, supposedly, I have a little mouse cursor or something. Just tell me something's loading. I don't necessarily know what that is, but. Oh, you son of a. Um, may just be a program I'm using, but I do want to say this: you don't have to download your GOG version. You don't have to get a Steam version. You don't have to get a CD version. All I have made a whole remaster of this game. On top of that, I've done all of the hard-ass work for you, fixing all the glitches, the bugs, um, patch the game, patch my version. So all you got to do is grab the download, put it on uh, wherever you want on your computer, and you're ready to go, man. Now, I've also increased the bounce of the bullets. I just increased the time that they bounce like that. It's not very much millisecond change, but it's still a little bit better. Let's go ahead and go in here. Now, for some reason, my game is giving me a little bit of lag because I got a little cursor doings issue, but I think that's due to me um, just recording. So, maybe a program on my computer, most likely, because I've been running. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, you son of a bitch! There we go. So, I mean, as you can see, it looks really great. I'm really proud proud of my work, so I really am proud of it. I wanted to give you... I, I sat down a long time ago and I thought, you know what? What remaster would BZ like? How would he want it to be? How would he like it? And that's basically what i done. I just choose it that way and just, you know, just went for it. Bring me up here as a failure to coagulate.
There we go. Man, I might I must have used a batter a batter uh difficulty, man. All right. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't see it there. Oh, my lord. What? What? Oh, but anyway, there you go, man. So there's the fix for um, 2560. Let's do one more test. Let's actually load an entire new game. Okay, and let's see if this fixes everything. All right, so here we are. We're still in 2560 by 1080. Um, I'm gonna get myself a shotgun cheat. Don't judge me, BC. Don't judge me, man. I'm just a guy. Just a guy. Oh, wait. I need to give myself some ammo, too. <laughs> Can't get him without ammo. Please, no. We'll, we'll, we'll know right now in a minute. Because when we skip the level. Now, due to that lag spike, I have another program running in the background. So, that's that's reason why it's moving like that, so that won't be on your version. Please, no. Unless you got a program on Get out of here, hey, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth, man. Moment of truth. Tobacco Transit is a less likely environment. Thank you. You're very welcome, my friend. Alright, so far so good, man. We're in 2560 by 1080, man. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, so we're good to go, man. Without a spoon. Without a spoon, my friend. Without a spoon, my... I spoon, my friend. Oh, wait. <laughs> that didn't come out too well. That didn't come out too good, man. What? Oh, let me rephrase that. <laughs> Oh, uh, but anyway, but anyway, BZ, you you got a uh, fix for your resolution, so we'll actually try to load and see what happens. Okay, so we'll load. We're still in 2560 by 1080. Woohoo! Let's go, baby, let's go. All right, so there's your fix, man. So thank God I got that fix. So everything should be set up for you. Um, the only thing you probably will have to do, I'll make a tutorial for you, but yeah, I don't think you'll need to. You may want to go in this DG Voodoo, but your configuration file should already be set for you. So when you just load this up, you should be able to just click it and you're ready to go. Um, you can choose to, to, you can also quick save with it. It's, I think it's F5 is quick save in this game. I didn't know if you knew that or not. But anyway, thank you for watching BZ. And man, you just have a wonderful day. Oh, shit. My damn OBS is doing this bullshit to me again. I'll have to hit the X button on it. OBS is starting to get a little stupid. Anyway, thank you, BC, for watching.